guys, it's Zeke and Jade here, and I'm doing a book review on Sun Guest by Jenny. Look, Lash one. I'm really sorry, I'm terrible at pronouncing names. I got this book free for to review it, so I decided to review it on my YouTube channel. Aren't you guys so lucky? <laughs> I do quite like this book. I love the cover. When I first saw it, I was like, mmm pink and then when I saw the patterns and then as I was reading the book I realised it was quite relevant to the character's personality and I do admit it is quite beautiful. This book is part of a series I believe I saw someone say on Amazon that it's part of the Ladybug Bird Girls. I'm not entirely sure on that so don't hold me to this. This is the third book. It works a lot perfectly as a standalone book. The first two books are Flirty Dancing and Love Bomb, and it actually does say there, Meet the Other Ladybirds. The next book in this series is coming out next spring, which is Starstruck. When I have like have sort of read the blurb online, I was like, this is actually quite interesting. I'll read you guys the blurb. He watches me with his dark eyes, I take a deep breath, and then I shut my eyes, and I jump. Kat can't believe she's been banished to Sweden for the summer. How will she survive without her friends or even her phone signal? What girl in the 21st century can survive without her phone? People, please write in the comments if you can survive without your phone, because I know I can't. Sorry. But once again, in the land of sa sauna, snuggity, and summer sand, Kat realises not about the boys, what she's wearing, or how straight her hair is. It's time to embrace who she really is, underneath what people expect her to be. Basically, Kat sort of lives in a very self-centred materialistic world. Basically, her parents are like, had been to a, we don't think, sort of good enough type thing, like, give up. While her sister's always been a straight A, like, sort of a star child. Kat meets this guy called Leo. Everyone makes that Leo as, like, the hottest guy ever. When she meets him, he's like, oh, he's average. And as she spends time with him, she starts losing sort of the materialistic size and starts realising what people are truly like and what she should truly be. And then his girlfriend that her eyes and she finds out and then he sort of bitches about her. And then she gets hurt and then she goes, you know what? I'm entering this competition. I'm proving everyone wrong. I'm doing it. I'm proving everyone wrong. So she asks her best friends to come and one of her best friends who was literally the one who probably wouldn't have come, comes, and so they train. They spend, what, three weeks solidly of training. And she starts realising what she's forgotten and what she misses out on doing before. And everyone expects, oh, just give up, you're not going to do it. And that's what gives her the moral to carry on. Because people have been telling her she couldn't do it, she did it. And I think this is quite an empowering book. It's showing what girls can do. Like, we can't be restricted and we can't be stopped. If someone tells you you can't get what you want, like, you're not going to get that grade, you're not going to complete that race, you're going to do it to prove them wrong. And Kat is the perfect moral model. She's, like, 15. I actually found myself, like, sympathising with her when I'm 18 and relating to her. So this is a really quite good book. There is the romance in it, which I do think the, some of the romance stuff in it is a little stereotypical, but it's a chick flick book. Not my normal book, but I am giving an honest review on this. Like, I do quite like this book, even though I'm really anti-chick flick, because I find them so predictable. So I'm sort of stuck between giving it a 4, a 4.5, and a sort of 5 out of 5. Hey guys, when I was filming that I forgot to mention that it also had quite good, like, strong points in friendship. Like, the girl that arrived, you really did see the friendship blossom, and you also saw the main ca M-Cat's friendship blossom with another girl. So, because of that, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5, because it was quite focused on friendship. So, this is bye from Editing Jade. Toodle-doo. Just because some of the romance and like just seemed a little stereotypical, like I kind of wish that, like at the so one point of it, I was like, yeah, she's doing the right thing, 
and then it came to the end and I was kind of like seriously would that really happen but I think it's a good way to end it off and I do want to sort of find more about her life but I don't know if in the sequel it will say about it or not or it will centre on one of the other friends so this is probably one of my sort of favourite summer reads so far this summer and thank you Maximum Pop Books for picking me to review this book and thank you toodaloo guys oh yeah and be sure to like this video and in the comments write any other books you think I should review